Yes, this is N2XJ. Over. NA1SS, this is N2XJ. Over. This is N2XJ. Over. Hi, Greg. This is Bonnie. My call is KC2SPJ. I have 10 young campers here ready to ask you questions, so I'll pass the mic to Ed. Please stand by. Hi, Greg. My name is Ed. Do you have any plants growing in the ISS? And can you bring them back to Earth to study them? Over. It's very nice to talk to you. Welcome on board the National Space Station. Okay. Um, sure, we do have plants growing up here. In the Russian segment here, we have some plants growing, different experiments, basically to see how we can get plants to grow and then grow seeds and then grow a second generation, which will be very important if we are traveling uh, to Mars and living in other places. Also got some seeding, some uh, plant experiments going on in the Japanese module to look at the difference between how plants behave in zero G and one G. And I've also got some Australian seeds with me for a variety of plants from Australia, which we're going to return after the mission, and I'll try to grow them on the ground, and we'll see if there's any difference with how they grow after they've been exposed to radiation up here. Thank you, Greg. Now I'm going to pass it, the microphone to Caitlin. Please stand by. Hi, Greg. This is Caitlin. Have you ever worked with a female astronaut? Over. Hi, Caitlin. It's great to hear from you. Of course I have. Sure, we have lots of female astronauts. In fact, I've trained uh, many years with uh, Sandy Magnus, who happens to be the astronaut who's coming up here in November, and she'll be taking over for me. I'll be handing over uh, my job and responsibilities on the space station to her. Uh, but there's a lot of other female astronauts, and um, and if you would like to someday be an astronaut um, or do anything else, go for it. The opportunities are there for you. Thank you. I will now pass the microphone over to Emma. Please stand by. Hi, Greg. This is Emma. Are there any special things that a girl like me and might do to become an astronaut? Over. You know, whether you're a girl or a boy, the advice is pretty much the same. Uh, if you want to become an astronaut or anything else that you want to do in your life, you need to believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, and do the best you can at everything that you do. Thank you for your answer, Greg. I'll now pass the microphone over to Beatrice. Please stand by. Hi, Greg. This is Beatrice. Have you done a space? Have you done a spacewalk? And uh, what is it like outside the ISS? Over. Hi, Beatrice. Um, I haven't done one yet, but my commander Sergey Volkov is right next to me, and he's going to tell you what it's like. Jessica, please stand by. Hi, Greg. This is Jessica. I've heard from Jeff Williams preferred spicy foods in space. Do you have the same experience? Over. Yes, very much, but I also like spicy food on the ground as well. We're lucky up here. We have a huge selection of food to choose from, lots of options. My favorite dish here is called Fiesta Chicken. It's a spicy Mexican dish. Thank you for your answer. I'm now going to pass it over to James. Please stand by. 
Hi Greg, this is James. Can you see an eclipse from the space station despite the station's high speed? Over. You know, we recently had an opportunity to attempt to observe an eclipse. Uh, the sun is really blinding, so you can't really look, you know, to where the moon is blocking the sun. All you can do is look down on the earth and look for the shadow. So that's the only way we can observe an eclipse from the station. Thank you. Now I'm going to pass the microphone over to my sister Sarah. Please stand by. Hi Greg, this is Sarah. Since it's winter in the southern hemisphere, but summer in the northern hemisphere, can you see both auroras from the ISS? Over. We should be able to see it. I actually haven't seen it myself yet, but I'm really, uh, you, you reminded me of this, and I'm going to try. If I get a good picture of it, uh, then you, you may be able to find it on our website, on NASA's website for Expedition 17. But uh, you should be able to see both of them, and I've seen some great pictures of them before. Thank you for your answer. Now I'm going to pass the microphone over to Grace, the first of the Patingalo triplets. Please stand by. Hi, Greg. This is Grace. How do you eat and drink while you are floating around in the ISS? Over. Well, you have to do it carefully. Uh, as you know, there's no gravity. Everything floats. Um, uh, all the fluids we drink out of bags with straws, and that works really well. Uh, with food, it, it really helps if there's some sauce or something um, uh, to keep it together, and that works really well. And uh, uh, it's interesting, water does a really good job of, uh, water has surface tension, and when there's no gravity, the surface tension is really amazing for it to keep the water together. So, for example, eating soup is actually pretty easy because the soup all stays together. Thank you for your answer. Now I'm going to pass the microphone over to my brother, Jimmy. Please stand by. Hi, Greg. This is Jimmy. Can you see meteors and shooting stars from the space station, and do they look the same as from here on Earth? Over. Well, we're moving really fast. We're moving 17,500 miles an hour, and meteors are moving actually much faster than us. So the chance uh, for us to see it, uh, uh, it would have to be very, very large, uh, and so we can see it from far enough away. So um, it, it, there's really not really a possibility of seeing it. Uh, but little meteorites are hitting us all the time, and we have some protection, some shields on the outside of the space station that protect us from the meteorites. Thank you for your answer. I'm now going to pass it over to my brother, Lewis. Please stand by. Hi, Greg. This is Lewis. Do you think that children will go into space someday? Over. Not only are children going to go into space, they're going to live in space, and they're going to be born in space. I bet you that we're going to be, all of us, uh, you know, in the years ahead, are going to be hearing about the first child born off the planet, either on the moon or Mars. Hi, Greg. This is James again. It seems that our time is running out, so I'm passing the mic to the Patingalo triplets to say goodbye. Please stand by. Hi, Greg. We are the Patingalo triplets. Grace, Jimmy, and Lewis. We all wish you a safe return to Earth. Over. I really have a hard time hearing you now. I think the last question was about voting. Now, I'll be on the space station for voting uh, this year. It's very important that, that uh, everyone uh, uh, takes up their responsibility and, and, and rights and uh, ability very seriously to vote. And I'll be doing it right here for the space station. Listen, I, I can't really hear you guys anymore, but I hope you can still hear me. Uh, have a, a great time there. Thank you so much for joining us on the space station. It was really great to talk to you today. Visit us once you've returned to Earth here in Berkeley Heights. Anyone says this is anything else today? Over.